Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking you along with us for this entire week showing you where we are spending our money and what we are spending our money on for an entire week. So, is that a yawn or an excited face? Excited face. Oh, it is Saturday morning. Yeah, today's Saturday. We have some grocery shopping to do. We do all of our grocery shopping on the weekends and so we are just about to head into Costco and see how much we're gonna spend. Yeah. We just got home from going to Costco and Fred Meyer, which is our local Kroger. And at Costco, we got some Kleenexes. We got a whole pack. We were running out on Kleenexes. And we also got some frozen chicken breasts. And that total at Costco was $41.48 for both of those things. Then we went to the grocery store to Kroger and we got a lot of stuff at Kroger stocking up on groceries for the week. And we are also having friends come over today for lunch and for baking cookies. So some of the items are for that. We got a half gallon of milk, some brown sugar for baking as well as baking soda for the baking. Um, and we got some vanilla extract and chocolate chips for the cookies. Next, we also got some tortillas. We're going to be making some um, chicken tacos today in the Instant Pot and I have this guacamole salsa to um, cook the chicken in. We then got some butter also used for the cookies and some Swiss Miss just for fun for a little festive holiday beverage tonight and some canola oil if you guys watched my thanksgiving vlog then you saw that we messed up on baking because we didn't have any non-stick spray so there we go and then i got some uh frozen fruit i've been doing smoothies in the mornings and really liking them so that's what we got and some bagels bagels were two for four so they were on sale and then bananas we get bananas every time we go to the grocery store and got some greek yogurt for my smoothies and all these items at Kroger we got for $38.71. A really great hack for saving money on groceries is actually using the app Fetch Rewards. It allows you to be able to scan your receipts and you get points for uploading receipts and doing shopping that you do anyways. If you use my code, which I'll leave right here on the screen, you can get of your first 2,000 points with signing up for Fetch Rewards and you literally just earn points that you can use for gift cards later just by uploading pictures of your receipts. So that's what I'm about to do with my grocery receipt. Hey guys, today is Sunday and I'm about to spend some more money. So I have been trying to put together a few things for the baby's nursery. I know that we still have a lot of time until he's here, but Target was running some amazing sales for um, Black Friday and that entire weekend. And they're even running more for the week after Thanksgiving. So last week for Black Friday, they did a deal where if you spent $50 at Target, whether it was in-store or online, you also got a 20% off coupon email to you that you could use later. So my intent with that is to be able to use it to buy some larger nursery furniture items like the crib and the glider. But today Target is also doing a, another sale which is 10% off Target gift cards up to $300 of Target gift cards. So my plan is to buy $300 worth of Target gift cards that I can then use with that 20% off coupon to get the glider and the crib for the baby's nursery. So I should be saving about like almost almost half I think when it all comes down to it on these baby related costs. So I'm about to spend $270 at Target to get $300 worth of Target gift cards that I'm going to be using very shortly again to purchase those nursery items. So today is Monday and what I like to do on Mondays is I treat myself to Starbucks. It's like my one day that I give myself the permission to spend. So this morning I got a decaf peppermint mocha at Starbucks and I used like the Starbucks app with my rewards and everything on it. And so I actually had to reload my app. So I spent $15 reloading my app to get my Starbucks this morning. But it's my Monday morning treat that one day that I allow myself to spend money on Starbucks each week. So today is Wednesday and I spent a little bit more money. Normally Jacob and I will meal prep and that way we have all of our meals taken care of for the week, but I was not very good about that <laughs> this week. So I went out and got lunch. I just ran to like Safeway and got like a chicken, like an orange chicken and rice bowl. 
and this was $5.49. And the thing is, this is going to last me for the today's lunch and tomorrow, so I'm getting two lunches out of it. But yeah, I don't normally spend money eating out for lunch, but today was just one of those days. So it is now a Thursday evening and on Wednesday I didn't actually spend any money so there was nothing to update but today I spent a lot of money. Um, as you guys remember earlier this week I bought a Target gift card that was on sale. I bought a $300 Target gift card and I got... 10% um, off so I, I got a $300 gift card for $270 so today was the day that I was planning to spend it. I had to get a couple things for the baby's nursery including a crib and a um, glider which I know were going to be higher priced like big ticket items and things that we probably wouldn't get off of our registry anyway. So Target was actually doing another sale or like promo on Black Friday where if you spent like a certain, I think it was like $50 at Target, then you got a 20% off coupon to use for a later purchase. So I had that coupon waiting around and it would expire here in like the next couple days. So I wanted to use that gift card that I got from Target that I got 30% off and then also use that 20% off coupon. So I just made the purchase and here's what I did. I ended up getting this crib and this crib was originally $300. And then I also got this glider that was also $300. And in addition, I got another item that I have down below here, but this is an item that I got for someone for Christmas who watches this video, so I'm not gonna show the other item that I got. So here's my cost breakdown. So originally all of these items together were almost $700, but I was able to save $155 because of my red card, which gets 5%. I also got 20% off with that coupon and Target Circle was running a promotion, 15% off for that gift that I bought. So all of that together ended up being $544.97. So saving 155 bucks just from these coupons. And then I applied my $300 gift card. So I ended up paying out of pocket today $244.97 for all of these items that we are going to have for baby's room and also as a Christmas gift. So I think that that was a pretty sweet deal. I was really looking forward to today to be able to make this purchase because it feels good being able to save that much money on purchases that I was already planning on making anyway. So I think that I got a good deal on this crib and on this glider and I'm excited for them to get here. So today is Friday and I am not spending money today, but instead I'm getting a refund. So I had ordered these little cactus plants for the nursery, like nursery decor, and they showed up at my house broken. And they're from Target, so I'm gonna run to Target right now and take them back to get a refund. These three little like cactus plants, which they're cute, but they all ended up somehow being like chipped or broken. Um, so they're all going back and honestly, I don't know if I'm going to order another set. These were like $35, which I feel like is kind of a lot for what it is. So I think that I may go like with some different decor, but I am going to return them because that's a sad, sad day. I also have to go pick up a Christmas gift that I had already ordered on Target last night that I talked to you guys about. So we're gonna go pick that up and return these plants. And that is kind of it for my spending in a week. This is my spending diary for the week. And I bought a couple of really big things this week, which isn't normal, but also great to know that I have the permission to spend. I have the money sitting aside in my budget, ready to go if I want to or need to spend money. So that is a wrap of my week. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more money and life videos. And I I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.